Hey, what's up my wild mustaches and welcome back to another wild video. Now, first and foremost, hit that bell button, check out my last video and have some fun on my channel. So let's get right into it. Warning, if you do not get anything from this farm, then ask RNG. Do not blame me for your bad luck. I have bad luck in raids. I never get good stuff. So hey, RNG screws us all. That said, let's get right into it. So this is going to be located on Mr. Panda Island of Thunder right here, guys. So let me let you look at that real quick. And we're going to discuss that we actually did another one in the past that y'all liked. And it was 30 minute period. We got a tons of gold out of it. And honestly, a lot of y'all gave me good feedback because y'all said y'all did it. Y'all actually got a lot of gold out of it. And some people even said, man, that was my spot. Dang it. I actually <laughs> you know, I got to share now. So that was pretty cool. So I said, you know what? Let's find another spot. So this spot I am actually at is great for actually groups and monks. Now, the reason why I say groups is because I saw a group one time a long time ago that was doing this and it wasn't during mr panda it was actually during bfa and you might say that's not a long time it just came out well it was at the beginning of the expansion and honestly they were just farming this place they were farming this place they would put a statue and they would do two groups just like they do in bfa farms now with that said you can do that all you want but as a solo player i went here for 30 minutes i got 76,824 auction house gold now i want to show you these pictures as you can see these pictures these are cool looking transmog now i gotta say i like the way the gloves look and that's gonna sell more probably faster than anything else these do sell a lot so don't worry about it yes you might say well my transmog is not selling remember guys you always got to look at the tsm prices the regular prices and so forth then you got to undercut that even more than what it really is so like a 76,000, i i'm not looking at 76,000 total even though it says on it i'm probably going to get around 50,000. now that said let's get right into it so that said i will say that with items total is 64,351 gold and 87 silver that's the, all the items i'm showing you on this little list but i will say that is on medium price meaning that all regions you know just like i always tell y'all is you you know one price now with that said i will say that does not cover all the other stuff i got so it's probably a lot more or just as much as what i got on my server now with that said that's all there is to this guys you do this you actually get a chances at two rares that are there you're gonna uh, like god hulk or something like that and then you're gonna actually do a turtle too as well you can actually kill the turtle th that you're there it's very simple you get a chance at the, the the warlock book that goes anywhere from 20k to 40k which is pretty good too as well so if you think about it you got that chance plus you got a, a great farming spot that actually sells again you got to learn to auction house you could not just put it up there and expect i'm gonna sell it at full max like a lot of people keep uh, telling me this and not a lot of people just like it's just a couple of people who keep saying well my transmog never sells or this and that and i'm not making fun of you please don't say that i'm actually just telling you you got to learn how to use tsm you can't just expect to sell everything like that you can't Tmog, if you want to call it like that, actually takes a while. It takes a while to sell. It's not an instant, guys. So with that said, I hope you enjoy this spot. I enjoyed doing this spot. And you know what, guys? We got another video coming out today. And honestly, I think that y'all are actually going to like it. It's really cool because it's a big series. Every month, we're going to do four episodes a month. And honestly, my patrons get it first. So if you ever want to see it first, you're going to be able to see it before anybody else and actually get the lowdown of it and so forth. So with that said, guys, like always, please like, subscribe, and comment, and stay stashy. All right, guys, if you're still here, this is the last part of the video obviously you probably the people who just clicked off probably thought nothing was after this but this is actually going to be the last thing okay this is the final code word of the week and it's not going to be a code word it's more going to be hey guys can you please comment down below what is your favorite thing on my channel so far and the reason why i'm doing this for the last one is because these code words these giveaways are not meant for just a random person they're meant for people who are actually subscribed actually give a like and comment and so forth so if you've been a supporter so long you should know what's your favorite thing is on my channel so that said guys please like subscribe and comment and as always stay stashy again when I do redo the video, guys, I keep saying it wrong. I do apologize for that. But it's 150 candies and 93,680 gold. And also, to as well, Cursed Burman is actually 150 candies at 55,000. Widget of the Departed at 150, 65,279 gold, which is not bad, guys. I'm going to be honest with you right now. I would get some of a mix because you want to have a variety of it. The more ults you have, the better chance of you getting more gold out of this. Do not sell during the event.